On our second week of holiday giving, where THN highlights a local organization that gives back to the community, we're joined by Hamilton Food Share. With this time of year being extremely busy for them, Ashley Mitchell is going to tell us how you can help them help others. Ashley, great to see you today. Welcome. Hi, Mike. Thank you for having me back. It, it's a pleasure. Uh, Hamilton Food Share, listen, we all read the papers. We listen to the news. We know what's going on now more than ever. Seems like we say that every year. I know. Um, but in your world, you see it, you live it, you breathe it every day. Talk to me. What's it like out there right now? Well, really, Hamilton Food Share is the emergency food shipping and receiving hub. So we're the ones that distribute the food. But it's really, honestly, our members, and I think you're going to be speaking to maybe one of them. But mm -hmm. we work with 16 partner member agencies that operate food banks and hot meals programs. And they're the ones that are really seeing the need on the ground and seeing this hunger crisis unfold in real time. But um, in March of this year, our hunger report counted that over 17,600 Hamiltonians accessed food banks. But that was just the number of individuals, but it was nearly 30,000 visits. Yeah. So what that tells us is we know people are having to come back more than once in a month in sure. order to make ends meet. Yeah, which is scary, uh, which is why uh, your event and what you do throughout the year is so important. Uh, what are some fundraisers? What are some things that you are doing that people can keep their eye out for so they can go out? Because you also do it so families can still be together too and give back to Absolutely. the Absolutely. I mean, that's what the whole point of what we're doing is we're trying to ensure that people don't have to choose between groceries or rent. We want to make sure that they're able to keep a roof over their heads and also put food on their tables. So, mm -hmm. and we know, we know that that's what food banks and hot meals programs are doing. We know that by providing food to people, they have a little more income in their pockets and they're able to redirect it to other priority needs. And um, we did a study with McMaster a couple years ago and 94% and of people said that those funds that they're able to save from accessing food banks, they redirect to rent and utilities. So we know it's going to housing. So we know that, um, yes, we're, we're supporting those that are experiencing hunger, but we're also part of um, the homelessness and and the housing crisis mm -hmm. because we're helping to keep people housed by providing those foods and by why we i mean our member agencies we provide the food to them like i said they're the ones on the ground that are providing the food to these individuals but yes we couldn't do any of this without our community so yeah. we're so grateful that we have some long-standing partnerships this past weekend we got to experience the beautiful cpkc holiday train roll through hamilton at gage park I, I don't have numbers yet. We don't do like a count tally, but I can tell you there were way more people there this year than there was last year. Uh, we raised, uh, the community raised over 4,100 pounds of food wow. and uh, over $5,400 in cash donations, plus CPKC donates uh, $10,000 to support those in our community. And when that train comes through, we're seeing the band and some of the highlights here right now. The lights, and of course, it's the Christmas music that gets me all the time. Mm -hmm. It just it, that really kicks things off. But they're doing such a great cross uh, cause across Canada with the yeah. They go across Canada, and then they also go down into the states. And so we're very lucky that we've been one of the stops for many decades now. And and we also always enjoy seeing the community come out. They always are extremely generous. And not just the the people, there's so many other um, individuals that come out. There's so many dogs that show up. It's yeah. such a fun <laughs> event to be a part of. And we were just uh, super grateful to have beautiful weather this, this year. Yeah. Also this weekend, while the CPKC holiday train was happening on Saturday, Lime Ridge Mall also held a cram a cruiser with Hamilton police. Yes. And they had two cruisers there. They crammed them both. Plus Lime Ridge Mall donated uh, $3,800 worth of food. So they brought in over, we're going to, we're still, we have one more cruiser being delivered, but it, we're going to have over 3,000 pounds of food and nearly $2,800 in cash donations. So even people that didn't necessarily come to the holiday train, people are showing up all across our city. And we have other events coming up too that families can, you know, participate in, support Hamilton Food Share and our member agencies, but also get into the holiday spirit. People are watching right now and they want to attend some of those yeah. events. What's the best way to do that, Ashley? So if they go to hamiltonfoodshare.org and visit our events tab, there's all the events that we're, listed, or we're connected to right now. So one of the ones that's coming up on... Um, December 30th, or sorry, November 30th, is a holiday soul concert with uh, Juno, award-winning Juno, sing, uh, RB uh, singer Sean Jones. Oh, so, sure, Sean, yeah. Yeah, so we're, we're participating with Sean's team, and they're doing, they're running a food drive um, 
at the concert. So it'll be a wonderful way to kick off the holidays. You can bring a food or cash donation and uh, support Hamilton Food Share, but also just enjoy the amazing talent that is Sean Jones. And, and if a little snow starts to sprinkle, it would just top everything <laughs> off, wouldn't it? would be it? perfect. And we're also working with Theatre Aquarius this year. They're doing their um, Christmas Story, the musical, and they're running a 50-50 throughout the month. It's already open now, so yes. if you visit theateraquarius5050.com, then you can purchase tickets. And you don't have to attend the musical, but I encourage you do too it, because it'll be wonderful. But you can participate in the 50-50, support a Hamilton Food Share and Theatre Aquarius by buying those tickets too. Support the local arts, support the local food banks and the charities. I think it's all wonderful. You mentioned when you go on the website to check out the events, is there also a little button there where if people want to make a monetary donation? <laughs> absolutely, yeah, Mike, absolutely. Yeah. So in the top right corner, you're gonna see the <laughs> donate button. So if someone, and I think it's important to mention that right now we're going through a postal strike. So mail is a little bit more difficult to get to us. So mm -hmm. we want to encourage people to give in alternative ways, which Online is a great way to give. Go online, make a donation through the donate button. You can also call Hamilton Food Share and our staff will be happy to help you take a donation over the phone. Yep. Or you can come visit us at <laughs> 339 always. Barton Street and drop off a donation. We're there from 8.30 to 4.30. We'd love to see the community and, and we're happy to accept your donation in person. There's always the, the talk and the discussion, Ashley, of, of what, what is needed out in the community. Mm -hmm. um, what, what are some things that you would suggest? You know, I know, I know people like to go through their cupboards, oh, there's a box of this, box of that, not gonna eat this, but no, what are some really important things that's out there that's needed, do you know? Things that are um, high protein, so, you know, canned meats, um, because sometimes meats can be really expensive, so yeah. if you can provide canned meats, things that are, um, or prepared like chilies, pasta mm -hmm. and pasta sauces, dried beans and lentils, just kind of those staple, non-perishable items that you need to build a meal around. Yes. That can really support a family. Also, we're heading into the holiday season, so kids will be out of school for a couple weeks, but we're also always in need of school safe snacks. We wanna make sure that families have snacks that they're able to provide their children when they're going to school that are safe for all in the community. So. Yeah, because if, if you're, you're not going to school anymore, where that might have been an outlet for you to get some nourishment, all mm -hmm. of a sudden, two weeks and nothing, or near nothing, that, that's, that's, that's tough to think about during That is, holidays. and it's definitely 100%, you're right, that families do uh, feel the impact of being off when they are relying on those school programs. So making sure that we have our food bank shelf stocked so that families have access to the food that they need while the children are at school and they're not necessarily accessing those breakfast programs mm -hmm. is really important. So ensuring that we have, like I said, those those foods for our youth and our children, our, um, those staple items to help build a meal off of and um, and just make sure that families have access to the, you know, priority nutritious food that they need. And of course, as, as a not-for-profit agency, you must always be looking for volunteers if people want to come out and help. We are, uh, because we operate, you know, differently than say our food banks, we don't necessarily always have volunteers in every day. Okay. Someone's looking to volunteer every day, my suggestion is give us a call and we'll connect you with some of our member agencies because they are in need. But where we do need them and where we needed them this weekend was places like the Holiday Train and the Kramer Cruiser event. Mm -hmm. And we had, you know, I think we had over 40 volunteers, maybe close to 50 volunteers show up for the Holiday Train. And throughout the weekend, I think we had, you know, over 15 volunteers at the Kramer Cruiser. So please, by all means, reach out to us. We'll yes. add you to our volunteer list. And then when we do get large uh, food donations and we, we do food sortings, then we'll put a call out to our community volunteers and and if anyone's available then you know we'll give a date and a time and then they can come in and help us sort as well yeah well it's it's uh, it's wonderful work that you and your group are doing uh, and I know we were talking off camera before I know you're gonna have a very busy Christmas season <laughs> with the little ones yes. so uh, Ashley to you and your whole family Merry Christmas thank you Mike you enjoy as well. the season thank you for all the work you're doing in this community thank you we appreciate that okay uh, and Basically, thank you. Thank you for joining us and tune in next week as Donnie Robertson's back in studio to tell us about an upcoming hockey charity game. We'll also learn about the welcome in. And lastly, neighbor to neighbor. They will be paying us a visit. It's a hat trick of charities next week on THN.